I just love the brightness that ferments would give to any dish that I was eating. And for me, I wanted to understand this alchemy that is behind this transformation of food, because I like to see it as alchemy. We are just there creating a condition and then magic happens outside of our control. It's a really rich word and it's an interesting world that I'm hoping I will get your curiosity teased throughout this course. Um, I picked some recipes here and there that for me are very unique, but as well they are not very complicated and they're very easy to put together. But at the same time, they will give you the fundamentals of different fermentations that you can actually create in your own kitchens. What's really interesting about fermentation is how varied how there is so many techniques and so many recipes that are related to cultures and geographies and how people perceive nature and perceive their own produce so it's like a story it's a personal story that cultures write for themselves and it gives different tones and different voices to the same technique which is fermentation but using different bacteria and different mediums So we'll be fermenting all kinds of vegetables you th can think of. Cucumbers, turnips, chilies, uh, lemons, eggplants, cauliflower. I will give you the basics and from there you can take them to any vegetable and any mixes as well. We will not stop at edibles, we will go to drinks. We, I will be giving you some recipes to create your own sodas. You will have a nice healthy fizzy, full of probiotics so that you, and you can enjoy any time of the year depending on the fruit that you're using. We're creating some condiments as well, some ketchup, and we're making other uh, recipes that use chilies like chili sauce. So really fermentation is everywhere and we're bringing all this world with little bites and little taste to our kitchen. So come join me and you're really in for a treat.